Redox reactions as a basis for titrations. In Redox system, the titration method can be adopted to determine the strength of a reductant or oxidant using a redox sensitive indicator. The usage of indicators in redox titration is illustrated below. 1. In one situation, the reagent itself is intensely colored. Example, permanganate iron, MnO4-. Here, MnO4- acts as the self-indicator. The visible end point in this case is achieved after the last of the reductant, Fe2+, or C2O4-, is oxidized and the first lasting tinge of pink color appears at MnO4 minus concentration as low as 10 power minus 6 mole dm power minus 3 10 power minus 6 mole L power minus 1 This ensures a minimal overshoot in color beyond the equivalence point the point where the reductant and the oxidant are equal in terms of their Mohr stoichiometry. 2. If there is no dramatic auto color change, as with MnO4 titration, there are indicators which are oxidized immediately after the last bit of the reactant is consumed, producing a dramatic color change. Example Cr2O7 2 minus, which is not a self indicator but oxidizes the indicator substance diphenylamine just after the equivalence point to produce an intense blue color thus signaling the end point 3 there is yet another method which is interesting and quite common its use is restricted to those regions which are able to oxidize I minus ions say for example Cu 2 Cu2 plus plus 4 I minus gives Cu2 I 2 plus I2. This method relies on the facts that iodine itself gives an intense blue color with starch and has a very specific reaction with theosulfate ions S2O3 2 minus, which too is a redox reaction. I2, though insoluble in water, remains in solution containing Ki as Ki3. On addition of starch after the liberation of iodine from the reaction of Cu2 plus ions on iodine ions, an intense blue color appears. This color disappears as soon as the iodine is consumed by the thiosulfate ion. Thus, the end point can easily be tracked and the rest is the stoichiometric calculation only. Limitations of concept of oxidation number. In the recent past, the oxidation process is visualized as a decrease in electron density and reduction process as an increase in electron density around the atom involved in the reaction.